Okay. Um, hey guys, this is uh, Jermaine. Um, I'm in Austin, Texas, and uh, I had a guy <laughs> stop me on the street named Sumer, uh -huh. and um, yeah, I asked if he, if I, anything was hurting on me. I told him, yeah, my lower left side of my back usually hurts. It's been years since I've had that. And he offered to give me a little um, relief in the middle of a park. <laughs> so we came and uh, he sh did his thing and my back actually feels better. So I can definitely testify like whatever he's doing works and um, I would highly um, check him out <laughs> if I were you. I plan on to. I plan on doing it. So hopefully you guys check him out too. All right, team, we're here with Jermaine. What's up, man? It's good to see you. <laughs> yeah. And he, we just walked by him down the street, and uh, he was walking by. He saw us with the camera, and he was like, hey, man, what are you guys doing? And uh, looks like he has some back pain, I could tell. And we're going to help him out today. All right, so so Jermaine, man, tell, tell me a little bit about how your back pain started. How did it start? Um, I think, I mean, I've been uh, kind of a pseudo-athlete for yeah. many years. I've played a lot of different sports. And stuff. Um, uh, but once I started really playing basketball and, and hooping, a lot, hooping um, I started uh, getting tightness on my left side of my yeah. back, and, um, and I've done all kinds of stretches and stuff, and, uh, rolling. Not working out. Um, it, it's it might work for a little bit, but it, it'll come back, you know. And, so you took off your left leg a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, were, exactly. you were just dunking on people. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, okay. All right, so you took off your left leg. You landed on your left leg probably a lot, yeah, too. Yeah. And you took off like this, too. Exactly. Got it, got it. Okay, cool. So that's years and years. You did volleyball, too, right? I played volleyball a little bit, yeah. Martial arts, did you kick with your left or your right primarily? Both. Both. Yeah. Which one's more dominant? My right leg is my dominant. So that makes sense. It's your pivot leg. Yeah. So again, have it. All right, so let's explain what patterning has happened over years. So if you're using that left leg over and over and over, you're landing on it. So I'm gonna take this guy's shorts off a little bit. So what's happening is, this is your pelvic bone right here. And then here's your uh, uh, sacrum. And then here's your um, L4, L3, L2, the lower lumbar spine. Every time you land on that leg, this pelvis is hiking up towards the lower back, kind of like this, let me show you. Every time you land, it's like, pop, like this. Over and over and over and over. Over hundreds of cycles, probably over like, 10, 15 years plus. So that's causing it to be hypertonic or hypertight. What we're gonna do though, is teach you that everything starts from the foot. So the issue is not your back, it's the foot. So we're gonna fix your foot, fix your shin, work up the chain, make you feel damn good, and then give you three exercises to do at home, mm -hmm. you'll be good. Let's do this, I'll keep Terrence right there. All right, so what we're gonna need you to do is uh, get on the mat, let's take your shoes off, socks off, Make sure no ants get you. I'm gonna put another mat down, actually. Okay, cause that's not fun. All right, cool. All right. So you can have a seat, like right there. Boom. Okay, here we go. So you're right there, left leg. Bring this out a little bit. Or actually, a lot of bit. All, all the way out. You can just back up a little more, I'd say. Yeah, you can be, you want to lay down? Okay. Yeah, if you want to lay down, I know your back's probably hurting. Your back's probably hurting all day, huh? Yeah. I mean, Dang. So you deal with it every day? Every day, every day. Wow. Well, dude, we're going to make this go away. <laughs> all right, lay down on your back, chill. All right, Jermaine. Years of hooping, guys. Years of hooping, years of volleyball, years of just freaking banging it out. He says he's a pseudo athlete, but I think he was a real athlete. He's just being modest, you know? <laughs> That's what athletes do, they're real modest and humble. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, man, so what we're gonna feel is gonna feel kind of gnarly. It's not gonna feel the most comfortable. You probably feel that already, huh? Yeah. It's gonna talk like a mother. It's gonna be like, ah, I wanna punch this dude. But <laughs> uh, hang in there with me. I promise you, it's gonna feel good after. And this is gonna feel real bad. Here we go, ready? Take a deep breath. Oh, Lord, okay. So that muscle right there that's called the posterior tibialis 
And that muscle right there makes your ankle real tight. And if your ankle's tight, your foot collapses, which every athlete has. Mm -hmm. You have it, everyone has it. Uh, and if it collapses, then that means the knee goes in, that means the hip hikes up, low back takes over, that's where all the pain starts. So our job is to start from the foot, correct the base. Once the base is correct, the back is gonna have a hard time bugging you. I'm gonna, you, if you have two golf balls at home, you have golf balls at home? Uh, I can get some. Get some golf balls and I'll show you what to do. And we'll, we'll get your contact info. And I'll have you add us on Instagram. And that way you can start following some of the things we start posting and start doing it. You'll feel like a ton better. Oh, yeah. Right there, man. When's the last time you got your foot worked out? Oh man, well I appreciate you. Wow, I appreciate you. Let me touch the foot. <laughs> All right, I feel honored. It's an honor, man. Okay. Shh. I'm almost out of there. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Can you tell all that? Yeah. It's a trained eye, you know, I've been doing it for so long. We've been at this game for a long time. You see patterns after a while, you're like, oh, there's that one pattern again, the foot, the shin, the low back, it's the same thing over and over and over. And you're like, all right, we can fix this, say no thing. And there's a whole slew of things you can do to open this stuff up too, which we'll, we'll send you some stuff for this too. So you can start doing off the bat. And then you can pretty much live without low back pain the rest of your life. Sounds good, huh? <laughs> well, that's a reality, man. Okay, there we go. Now check this out. It's going to feel a little different. Different, huh? <laughs> Not so bad, huh? Bam. It's off the bat, that's different. I can get into deeper layers now. Which are like, man, I just start feeling better. But... <laughs> Why are you trying to go deeper? <laughs> okay. God, there's so many gnats down here. Okay, here we go. Bam. Where'd you and your wife move from? Uh, to New York. What part of New York? Brooklyn. Okay, cool, cool. cool. You been following the Brooklyn Nets right now? I mean, I was, but I'm so busy, but yeah. Yeah, you're busy, yeah. They got a lot of injuries. <laughs> Kyrie got injured. James Harden got injured. I, was like, I started reaching out to them. I was like, hey, guys, <laughs> I can help you out. <laughs> That's cool, man. So Brooklyn, okay. What prompted the move to Austin? Our family. I mean, I was um, I'm raised in Maryland. So oh, I dope. I school in uh, college in, in New, York, New York University. Oh, wow. And I just said, well, I don't know if I can raise a family in New York City. Oh yeah, word. <laughs> That's hard. That's cool, man. So New York. So that that's where you went to film school? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. That must have been an experience. Must have been fun. And that's where you and your wife met in New York? In New York, yeah. She was born and raised in the Bronx. Oh, the Bronx. New York is a fun city. I mean I went there and I was, at the time, when I was younger, I would get overwhelmed really easily. Just people everywhere. Yeah. As I got older, it was less like that. But I really liked Brooklyn, and I really liked, um, I figured the other place, Queens. Queens yeah. Astoria. Yeah. All the restaurants. Yeah. They're really cool. Okay. I'm going to try not to sweat on you. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm putting in this work. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, we're not done, but I want you to stand up for a second. This is just the first step. And then just walk around. Notice what that already did to your body. Yeah, I feel like uh, more balanced. Um, yeah, like I'm, like I'm ready to like jump. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is And how do your back feel right now? Yeah, I'm not feeling it, you know, like, it's not that tension. Yeah, it's not like it's, like, locked up like a mother. Yeah, I just feel it. A little something? I'm ready to, yeah, I can do something.
Okay, I'll see you right side now. Ooh. Isn't that wild? That's crazy. <laughs> What's the mechanics behind it? All right, let's talk about it. Okay, so the mechanics behind that is that your foot is your point of contact. Okay, so that's the thing you're on all day, right? It's not your hands, it's your feet. So if your feet are your point of contact, they're transmitting information up the chain all day. So if your bottom point of contact is off, whatever reason, like I say it's collapsed or it's not spread or, or, or wide, it's gonna like collapse into the inside of the foot, makes the knee collapse, makes the, the thigh collapse, makes the hip hike up, makes the lower back take over. That's the mechanics. That makes your shoulders go forward. All because your foot collapsed. Yeah. And that's why like when people say my shoulders are messed up, it's like start with your feet. They're like, what do you mean start with my feet? My shoulders messed up and start with your feet. Because <laughs> we can we can fix your shoulder right now, but you're, I bet you it'll come right back because your foot's gonna always collapse you back in the same position. So your feet are everything. Um, they are the most important things you have. Yeah, hundred percent. You fix the foot, you fix ninety-five percent of problems. <laughs> <laughs> Even stomach problems. Sounds weird, but like there's a lot of uh, nerves that go from your foot to your gut. Your gut health are effect is affected by your foot. That's why re reflexology was so big and all that acupuncture stuff was big. But now they're finding even scientifically that it impacts the gut because the nerve that runs through. They're like, oh, we made this finding. And that finding has been out for years since like ancient Chinese medicine, but the Western medicine's catching up. They're like, oh, we made a finding. Everything, bro. Yeah, it's wild. Your mind, the way you think, your emotions. That gut instinct. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's for real. Oh, okay, let's fix this now. This side's not as bad. And that tells me it's because that, that's why that back is pissed off. Good thing I cut my nails. I'll <laughs> be oh, digging in with the wrong thing. Your wife's gonna be like, "Where you been?" <laughs> oh really? Oh shoot, man. This is you're getting more value than you expected, huh? <laughs> uh huh. Well, I guess the universe brought us together. <laughs> Money. Uh, you were waiting for the pay. <laughs> like, here comes the pay. No, it's not there anymore. That's dope. So, yeah, what you could do, right, is take these golf balls, stand on them, and start at each point. Start here, flex your toes down, come up. Then start here, go all the way down, then work the second line, the third, the fourth, and the fifth line. Work all the lines, five reps per position. Get it cleaned out until your feet feel buttery on the ball. And it won't feel buttery for a little while, but it will. If you, if you do it for like a month, you shouldn't feel. Yeah, it won't. And your back will feel awesome. And once you do that, then the second step is what we're going to show you next, which is active strength work. Because strength will be the key to keep it. This is just to get the the pain signaling away and correct some of the tissue dysfunction, but it's not gonna nece necessarily keep it. What keeps it is you training the right movements, you train the right way to run, which we'll teach you some basics today, uh, so you know how to run properly. Half of the reason is people run the wrong way and they make the back worse, they make the knee worse, whatever it is. It's all mechanics. You learn the right mechanics, game over. You're set for life. How you kids done? Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Uh, let's have you stand up for, for a second. I'll just wait. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can feel the difference. Look at that smile, man. Like <laughs> now it's more like, you know. Even your shoulders, huh? Yeah, like it just makes your body just be in its active mode ready. Ready to attack. Cool. All right. So let me show you the next thing. So here's the come, here comes the active work, right? So the active work, I need to wipe this off because I am yeah. greasy. Okay. So the active work is going to involve, we're going to take these wraps and wrap you. Mm -hmm. And you can get these wraps off Amazon. They're called voodoo wraps. 
And voodoo wraps are pretty awesome because you can literally wrap any joint, squat, lunge with it, and it makes your joints better. So we're gonna wrap you real quick. And if you ever wanna do part two, we'll do part two next time. So I see you around, or just, just message us. We'll meet somewhere in Mueller, we'll do part two, and we'll build your running mechanics. And we'll build your jumping mechanics. And we can build your whatever. And, you know, we just keep building your mechanics until you're like, oh, that's how I'm supposed to work out. I get it. Even a basic lunge mechanic, how do you lunge right? You, mm. People think they're lunging right. They get so much more if they do it right. So you could have really um, helped out Derek Rose. <sighs> God, I, wa I feel so bad for him. Yeah, I do too. I loved him, man. Bring this up a little bit. I would have loved to help him. He's one of my favorite players. You could see that that was going to happen, right? Yep. I'm a mile away. Wow. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, Derek. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, yeah. He's just, the way he just jump stops with both so hard with both knees. Yeah, I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, I was like, oh. But he's so explosive. He's like, a, he's a he beast. Away with it. So it's going to feel real weird, like a big hug, right? So I want you to face that way, and I want you to be on both knees. Both knees facing that, that way. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so you're on all fours. Like hands are down, there you go. Hands underneath your shoulders. Okay, so I want you to set your shoulder blades down to your hip pocket, like pull your shoulders down there. And hollow your stomach, like angry cat it. Other way, other way, other way. That way, that's angry, there you go. All right, cool. So keep angry catting and keep your head just neutral. Don't look down, just keep look straight ahead. With this foot, I want you to think about bringing this knee off the floor. This knee comes off, yeah. This knee stays down. Bring this knee inward, where it's in line with your big toe, which it is. And then I want you to think about pushing down to the floor with your toes, and then pushing back into my hand with your feet, with your foot. But keep the knee inward. Bring the knee, yeah, and like, yeah, like that. Now keep pushing, do you feel this quad muscle fire? Okay, keep making that quad muscle fire. That muscle is called the VMO, it protects your knee. Keep making it fire. And then keep hollowing your abs, pull your abs up, like vacuum it, like a vacuum, hard pull. Keep pushing back. I'm gonna bring this heel in a little bit. There you go, keep driving, keep driving. You might even feel your shin fire, do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you feel your shin, you feel your quad. Do you feel your glute and hamstring a little bit? Uh, hamstring. Okay, a little, glute, yeah. a little bit of glute. Keep bringing that knee in, keep pushing. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up the resistance. You're going to be like, oh, hell no, you're not going to win. It's like athlete style. There it is. I feel you. <laughs> that, bring that competitive juice in. There you go. Don't let me win. Don't let me win, Jermaine. I'm not as strong as your leg. That's for damn sure. Light it up. All you need is like a wall and a, and a yoga block you can push into. And just, you can do this and just light it up. And your first goal is to get a minute. And to do four sets of a minute. Slow, okay? Okay, I know it's lit, but hang in there. Knee in, knee in. Push, push, push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Go and stand up. Let's take those wraps off of you. All right, man. Take him off now. It's going to feel like a big rush of blood. It's going to feel really good. Yeah, feel that out, bro. What is that? Like, how did that happen? <laughs> Even your shoulders? Yeah, like I'm feeling. Well, maybe because I. Yeah. Yeah, it, it even enhanced the feeling I had earlier, like even more. More bounce, less yeah. low back. Yeah. That's dope. So let's see your other side real quick. Isn't that crazy? Figure out exactly. I guess if you just yeah follow the muscle and yeah structure. You want to think more about the joints, like muscle second, joints first. Okay. So the joints are like the passive structures. The muscles are active. They're, they're the things that are actively contracting, right? Joints are passive. That means that if people are not actively contracting, like you just did, you just actively contracted, uh -huh. you're putting all your stress on your joints. Yeah, that's, yeah. So all we all I figured out was okay. So if his joints are are incapable of moving period let's open them up first which is what we did we opened you up 
The second goal was that now let's teach him how to fire the right muscles in sequence to protect the joints in the entire sequence. So I said, okay, let's protect his knee, his foot, his back, his glutes, his hamstrings, and you felt your glutes, you felt your abs, right? right? So that's, 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 how, that's how we think. And once you get the, the active structures on, your passive are always protected. That's, that's the danger for athletes, right? Their passive gets messed up. They're like, oh man, I have no cartilage now, yeah. uh, right? Wow. And, and even if they didn't have cartilage, they still gotta do the same thing. Even after they gotta do the same thing, they have to. They still have to get the active stuff strong. They have no choice. So what is it, um, just repetition in terms of like what muscles? Yes, it's repetition, but specifically, man, it's repetition in the way that makes the muscles in that specific chain fire together. Like that muscle, the hamstring, the glute together, the foot together. You know what I mean? So it's like, if you think of what you were doing, you were pushing off, right? You were pushing into me. Think about how many times you had to do a hesitation dribble, you had to push off your back leg. Think about how many times you had to take off that back leg and, and, and bam on somebody, right? That is... You start doing it at a low grade level first, like at a level you can handle, which is down on the floor. Then you do it in like active movements when you're standing too. Mm -hmm. Like they're progressions, infinite progressions for these movements. I just put you at the regress regression first, where you felt safe. Mm -hmm. And you would keep progressing until you get to the most advanced level of like doing a movement like that, which would be standing, which I'll show you in a second actually. You get advanced there, you add weight to it, get crazy with it. Oh, yeah. Add a lot more to oh it. Oh my God, yeah. This is so basic right now, but it's, it's so effective. So let's get you back down. Oh, the weather just got nice. <laughs> I'm a man, so you're here. Make sure that this foot is like, yeah, big, t it's big toe focus. Yeah, there you go. This knee comes off, knee goes in. Okay, push down to the floor, push back. Keep that right knee in. There, feeling that quad already? Good. Feeling your hamstring? Mm -hmm, yeah. Dope. You might even feel your arch and your big toe, of course. Should my other knee be off the ground? I'd say keep it on the ground if you can. You can even stagger it forward if you need to. That might help you. Is that helpful? There you go. Good. Heel in, heel in. There, right there, right there. Push right here. I'm about to ramp it up, Jermaine. Here we go. There we go. Don't let me win. Yes, sir. Making me sweat, guys. Oh, my Lord. This is how I get my, my laps to fire. Oh, my God. Okay, now it's probably on fire, fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see the shoulders shake? Hollow your stomach more. Think angry cat. So chest caves, yes. Don't let the back ever, ever arch like that. Rest. Come on up. <laughs> and right now it feels like you're just holding this thing forever but eventually you'll be able to do a dynamic stuff so go and stand up here and we'll take this thing off of you nope take this off of you feel that out That's really good, huh? Low back feels nice. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Way to go, man. All right, well, we can do a part two next time. I'm going to leave it here.